Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a review of a small mini projector. This is a very small, very functional projector that works with Android, with iOS, with your PC, uh, over HDMI, USB, or even Wi-Fi. A lot of different things in a very small form factor. I want to say thank you very much for the team over at Liavs for allowing me to check out the Liavs Air. Uh, they successfully just completed their Indiegogo campaign, but let's not waste any time. Let me show you why this small projector can do so much. First and foremost, this is not a fully retail package. Uh, this is going to be pre-production level hardware. So keep in mind the final package that you guys pick up, if you get it directly from them, it will look a little bit different. Uh, opening it up, we're greeted directly with the projector. There is a small booklet of instructions here. Uh, they provide us with a power brick, US style, USB, and it looks like it just uses a 5 volt at 2.5 amps. So as long as you have some type of power bank that uses it, you can even use that to power it. We do have a battery built in here rated to be used about two and a half hours worth of video time, a micro USB to USB type A. This is directly to provide power as well as connect it to your phone as you're able to basically mirror your phone using the cable. Uh, they provide us with a small mini tripod that's expandable because the projector does have a tripod mount at the bottom of it that you're able to basically screw in. So very easy to set up, very simple to be able to basically get it out of the box, connect it and start using it. Now looking over the projector, we have pretty much a clean slate at the top with the name of the company. In the back we have DCN, we use micro USB with the cable they provide us, as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack for audio output. So connecting this to a speaker or headphones for private screening. Uh, USB to be able to connect directly to your phone to be able to mirror your device as well as mini HDMI. Now they don't provide us a mini HDMI cable but it's not that expensive. Left side we have a small opening for the speaker. This does have a built-in speaker, a focus ring to be able to get the image in focus. On the front we have the actual lens, a DLP lens rated at 100 lumens and it actually does get pretty bright enough as long as the room is not super bright. Uh, we have a vent as well as an air, uh, basically heat dissipation vent on the front as well as on the right and with the power button. Now this power button will double as a switching button between Android and iOS. As for it to work over AirPlay, you have to be in a uh, iOS mode and for it to work over Android for, the, uh, for basically DLNA, uh, you do need to basically switch over to the Android side. On the bottom, we have it, uh, basically just a tripod mount with a non-slip ring so that if you have it sitting on the table, it doesn't slip and slide all over the place. Model number is V10 mobile projector. Uh, the power rating is 5 volt at 3 amp, even though the charger they gave us at 2.5 amps, it does work with it. So for testing this out, what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to the wall right behind me. I'm going to be connecting it using my Huawei Mate 10 Pro as well as my iPhone. The reason why between the two, I want to show you guys how it works on Android and how it works on iOS. Uh, I do have a mini HDMI cable that was not provided to me and then this one will just connect to the back of the display here and you'll be able to basically connect it and use it as a normal HDMI output. Now to make this work with my phone, I am using one of these little guys. This is the Wolflo uh, Mini, well this is basically an adapter that allows me to be able to use my smartphone and connect it to a TV and this is really why I'm going to show you guys desktop mode on my Mate 10 Pro. So I went ahead and connected the projector. We're projecting right above the monitor, usually behind me. Uh, and the reason why the screen is a little bit angled on the right and left side, that's because it's projecting upwards. If you project it more flat towards the wall, it will be more square. Uh, but that's just kind of an example of how clear this picture looks like. Now, the office is dim and that's why the picture looks very clear. This would be kind of a similar thing if you had a little bit of light in the room, you could still see it. Uh, but again, it looks a lot better when you dim the lights around it. Uh, the projector itself right now is connected to my Wi-Fi. I've gone through the setup process and they give you instructions right on the screen on how to be able to set it up. Uh, by default, you're greeted directly with the Android side, so you can select the, uh, the Wi-Fi network V10-D47, uh, go into the settings and then connect to it and then connect it to your local Wi-Fi. So this is why it's connected already. If I press the power button one more time, sorry for the little jiggle there, it'll switch over to iOS instructions. And again, same thing, gives you the instructions on how to connect and also how to project to it using AirPlay. Uh, the settings are pretty simple. Once it's connected, it'll give itself an IP address. It tells you what that IP address is, and then you just go in there and mirror to it. Uh, you do need to switch between those two options in case you want to go from Android to iOS as Mirror Share or uh, AirPlay does not turn on when it's on the Android side. So since we're on iOS right now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my iPhone. So here we have my iPhone. I'm going to unlock it straight down, go into screen mirroring, look for it. It's on the network and I'm going to connect to it and give it a few seconds. And then you can see right there, that's my screen right now and it's connected. Uh, it will mirror my screen exactly the way I intended. So if I'm swiping to the right, swiping to the left, uh, looking on the left, going up, down, 
uh, bringing down my notification, closing them. And of course, I can open up the application, the camera, and basically just do kind of a, a lighting effect. But the main point of it is that you can actually use it and watch things off of it. So let's go ahead and open up my Instagram feed. That was a video that I just did yesterday. Uh, it's very simple and you can turn on the audio. And then control the audio from your device. And this is using the built-in speaker to the actual uh, you know, little projector right there. So the main benefit, it works really good. You can mirror it, you can play video off of it, and it's really capturing your display. Once you're done with it, just swipe up, go to the actual sharing, say stop mirroring. You can pretty much configure it, go through the options, and it gives you options for Huawei, MIUI, uh, Samsung, Oppo, and Mizu devices. And it's again, on your device, the best way to do it is you go into the notification panel and you go screen mirroring. So this is on uh, Mate 10 Pro. Pretty much just give it a second, let it scan through the uh, network. Again, this is over the Wi-Fi. You'll find your projection and it'll connect and you'll be able to get desktop mirroring. So this is mirroring over Wi-Fi. And again, that's our home screen. Uh, pretty much the same interface. We can scroll, we can go up and down. Uh, there is a slight delay obviously as you're projecting but keep in mind that this is something that you'd expect as you're connected via wi-fi now my wi-fi router is across the house so again this is one of those things you want to keep in mind uh, we'll go ahead and open up youtube here's one of my videos we'll go ahead and play that and then when you go sideways it'll put the video for you and entire and then you can of course pinch the zoom to fill up the entire frame and let's go ahead and show some facetime here so you can see the And what I like about it is the fact that we don't have delay, we don't have an actual out of sync uh, communication between the display and the actual uh, you know, speaker here. Now you have the option of using that three and a half millimeter headphone jack in the back of it to be able to increase the audio quality by connecting an external audio. But again, that's one of the things you can keep in mind. The last thing I wanna show you guys is HDMI. Now you do need to buy an additional cable. The kit that I received did not come with it, but you need a mini HDMI to a standard HDMI and you'll be able to do things specifically if you have a Mate 10 Pro that has desktop mode. And as you can see, you're able to enable HDMI, well over HDMI desktop mode on your Mate 10 Pro. And again, what you're getting here is a pure experience of what you want to be able to use. Uh, you have a mouse connectivity here. You can open up browser. Uh, you can start up Netflix, open anything that a normal Chrome browser can open up for you. You have access to apps. You have access to basically your notification, your home button, your recents app. Of course, you could still do mirroring over HDMI, which means if you switch over to desktop mode, uh, I'm able to basically switch over to my desktop and I'm able to still you do and everything on my device works the exact same way I wanted it to do. Everything about this projector is really easy to set up. Uh, for Android or iOS, they give you the instructions right on the screen. And if you connect the mini HDMI, it overwrites both of those and you're able to basically jump into whatever device you have connected. You can connect your PC, you can connect your phone and do the desktop mode the way I did it. But if you have a laptop that has HDMI out, this is a great way of getting a bigger screen on your laptop with a really nice little companion that just sits next to it. Um, I like the functionality. I would have wished it would have been a little bit brighter, but again, at 100 lumens, if the room is dark enough, you actually have a pretty decent image. And uh, as far as sync between audio and video, there is no issues at all. The built-in speaker is not the most powerful, enough for a one person if you're sitting in the front of it and you're listening, but a bigger group, I'd recommend using an external speaker. And that's why they give you that really little plug in the back. You can connect it to a Bluetooth speaker that has an input and you're pretty much set. Uh, I want to say thank you very much to Liabs for allowing me to check out the little mini projector. This is called the Liabs Air. And they had a successful campaign that just finished over on Indiegogo. I'll give you guys some information in the description below. Um, other than that, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And again, more options, more tech, a lot of cool things coming down the way. I'll see you guys in the next video.